Hey, 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 everybody. It is Miss J, and I am back with day seven of the Love Dare. And this is a year of devotions for married couples. And it's based on the uh, movie Fireproof that came out several years ago. And the authors of this great um, devotion, devotional is um, Stephen Kendrick, Alex Kendrick, and Lawrence Kimbrough. Okay. So I am on day seven. Uh, my husband and I have been married for 20 years. And so in the year 2021, this will be our going on our 21st year of marriage. And so um, I have done this book. Uh, we have done this book together before. Back in 2014, we did this. Um, he and I did this devotional together. But for some reason, the Lord is having me to do this book by myself. Because in the year 2021, I am focusing on me and becoming a better me. So one of the things I want to do is to become a better wife. So that is why I am going through this devotional by myself. Okay, so day seven and it reads as follows. So the title of day seven is love is fertile soil. And um, the scripture reading is Ephesians 3.17, and it's only a part of it. It says that you being rooted and grounded in love. That is Ephesians 3.17. So we should be rooted and grounded in love. And again, that title is Love is Fertile Soil. So you kind of see where, where it's going, what the theme of today's um, devotional will be. All right, so it says, when we plant a living seed into healthy soil, we expect it to blossom. And just as flowers in a greenhouse are supplied with an ideal environment for growth, so a home filled with love provides the ideal atmosphere for people to bloom. Y'all, now if that is not the truth, when you have a home full of love, I mean, everybody is happier. You're happier, your spouse, even the children. You know, you can tell a, 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 the difference between a child that comes from a loving home or a child that comes from a home with a terrible background, um, a terrible home life. And, and me being in education, I definitely see that. We know that children, oh wow, here we go. Didn't know I was coming up on this part. Okay, so we know that children who grow up in loving families tend to sleep deeper, stand taller, and venture farther than those who have those who are never secure in their parents' love. Likewise, when you provide safe, loving soil for your spouse to grow in, oh my God. Ooh, I'm feeling that. They will be more likely to flourish with confidence knowing they are valued and secured. So what I'm getting from that is I need to create in my household for my spouse and for my children, I need to do my part in creating a loving atmosphere for everyone to grow. That will help to build confidence and that will make them feel valued and secure because every everybody needs to feel valued. I mean, I don't know. I've sat on so many interview panels. And one of the things that um, interview candidates will always say, well, I want to work in a, I want to work for a company whereas I feel valued. Okay. So that is definitely important. What happens when someone is loved over the years? Their needs are met. Dreams encouraged. Opinions heard. And success is praised. They are assured of your patience and forgiveness when they fail and free to express themselves honestly without fear of your judgment. <laughs> oh, now I need to work on that because, honey, I in my household, oh, I'm going to give you my opinion when you ask for it or not. And typically it comes off like me being judgmental. So I'm, I'm definitely going to work on that this year. 
They'll even weather intense seasons of disappointment with the stability of your with the st stability your love supplies. Admit it. We'd all like we'd all love to be loved like that. Yeah. We want people to show patience towards us. We want people to forgive us when we fail. We want to be free to ex express ourselves honestly without somebody clapping back. You know, the, I agree with that statement. We do want to be loved like that. And so if I want to be loved like that, then I have to sow that. I have to give that type of love on a regular basis. All right, so here are some questions. How will your mate be affected by living with you in the future? Well, I want it. I want to have, I want it to be a positive impact. And in order for that to happen, I definitely need to continue to create uh, an atmosphere of love and even um, be better at that. I'm saying, will they become radiant or saddened? Well, I think that that's a choice. You know, I, I feel like, like you are the, um, the thermometer, like you can set that temperature, uh, with how you act by how you respond in a certain situation. So I feel like I have that power to make the atmosphere, um, a sad one or a radiant one. I have to create an environment that is conducive to their success. Will I make my mate feel confident or angry? Well, I don't want to make him feel angry. It is my goal to make him feel confident. Yeah, Caitlin's um, mom's at the door. She wants to know if um, it's all right. If... I'm doing a video. Yeah, I know. Can Caitlin come over tomorrow? Okay, y'all, I'm back. Had a little slight interruption. My husband came because um, my neighbor wanted me to do a favor for her. So, anyway. All right, so back to the questions. It said, um, will he be, will, you, will your spouse, will you make your spouse to be, um, will you make your spouse to feel confident or angry? That was the last question that I read. And then the last one is, will you dare, <laughs> oh my God. Will you dare to create a loving environment for your spouse to grow in? Like that just touched my heart right like that. Oh my God. Like, will you dare? Like, I dare you to create a loving environment for your spouse to grow in. And you know, I, I don't know if you've ever like done any type of science project projects or research about when you talk to plants and um you know the impact of talking to plants and putting plants into a flourishing environment they will flourish and they will grow and that's the same concept or that's the same analogy I can use as it relates to this when I create a loving relationship for my spouse for my children, for my family. That relationship will take root and it will sprout and it will grow and it will grow into something beautiful. And, you know, no one gets married to end up getting a, and I don't even like to use that D word. That's not the purpose we got married for. We got married to stay together forever. And so let's just be reminded that love is fertile soil. Create an environment of love so that your marriage can grow. All right, y'all. I'll see you tomorrow. You be blessed. And um, I'll see you at the next video. Bye.